Today, we're going to do a little thought experiment. We're going to imagine a world without microbes. Now close your eyes. Wait, this is a video series. Open your eyes and get ready for the next installment of Biofilms. What would happen if all of the microbes in the world were to disappear suddenly? No more viruses, bacteria, or protozoa. No more microscopic creatures of any kind. Diseases like strep throat, food poisoning, or Ebola wouldn't exist. We also wouldn't have to worry about algal blooms in lakes and bays that can kill fish. Less deadly problems like acne, bad breath, and moldy food would also be a thing of the past. <coughs> Sounds great, right? Yeah! But it wouldn't be all good news. Huh? Microbes play an essential part in the environment and do a lot of things to help us. For example, it might be great if the vegetables in your refrigerator's drawer never went bad. However, these same processes help us to ferment food like kimchi, yogurt, cheese, and beer. The decay of plants is also really important in the environment. Microbes help to cycle the nutrients that are in dead plants and animals back into the soil so that the next generation of plants can use the nutrients to grow. Without microbes, everything that dies would just pile up, which would be pretty disgusting. Ew. Without nutrients, plants wouldn't be able to grow, which would cause animals to starve. The entire food chain would collapse. Microbes help plants grow in other ways as well. They take a chemical called nitrogen and convert it so that it is in a form that can be used by plants. Without the power of nitrogen fixation, plants would be stunted or wouldn't grow at all. If we didn't have microbes, farmers would have to put a lot more fertilizer on their fields in order to make enough food to feed everyone. Microbes also play an important role in the production of oxygen, which we need to breathe. People sometimes describe heavily forested places such as the Amazon jungle as the lungs of the planet, but the other lungs are in the ocean and they are just as important. The oceans are filled with microscopic single-celled plants called phytoplankton. These tiny microbes produce about 50% of the oxygen in the atmosphere. We would be in big trouble without phytoplankton. In addition to the impact on plants and the environment, the loss of microbes would also affect the health of animals and people. We have trillions of bacteria and viruses inside of us, and the majority are helpful. They help to digest our food and produce vitamins. They may even affect our behavior. So can we live without microbes? On the plus side, no disease. On the negative side, no decomposition and nutrient cycling, no nitrogen fixation, and reduced oxygen production would lead to an uninhabitable world. I don't know about you, but I'm glad that I live in a microbial world. Cause we are living in a microbial world and I am a microbial girl. You know that we are living in a microbial world Oh, one more thing. Please give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more microbial fun. Thanks for watching.